The Donaldson situation has been resolved. Oh boy. All offensive words were censored. More in interference than news. Hey, that's not true. Maybe that one time. A breathtakingly good edit. Ooh. You played one advert too late. Advance angered by content. Uh, Valve's excellently handled. Your Valve work was impeccable. Is that what that's it? Okay. Well, welcome back, guys. That's how yesterday's went. We've uh, we've lost for us anyway. Yeah, we've lost the great Jeremy Donaldson. What's gonna happen from here? I still got my full wages, so really, what's it matter? I, mean, I thought that's where I already was, but whatever. Sounds about right. Oh no, I'm still I'm still down. That's still full yeah. wages, but still ain't helping out. They went down. This went up. Even though this is a, apparently a rebel group made up of wealthy citizens who have been taken advantage of. <laughs> Which makes me feel extremely uh, yeah, awkward. Although I will say, that's in real life, this is not where my politics would be. But if what they said was happening actually was happening, yes, then I would be like, okay. Exactly. That's the difference between this game and reality. Yes. So. All that's right. why I that's why I was like immediately I was siding with disrupt because I was like, no, 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 no. That's too far. Look, if there were actual elderly death panels, I would have a problem with that. <laughs> exactly. Yes. All right. A tape to remember. You wake up, still partly in shock from what you saw in the news last night. What you had to edit on the news last night. When you came, when you come downstairs, you find your family sat in the living room, waiting for you. You take a seat on the sofa between Sam and Susie. Sam swallows, hesitating before starting. We were so worried about you last night. After Jeremy... With the gun. Sam chokes down a sob. It was awful. On national television. How could he do that? And now... After a horrible pause, Sam finally asks. Are you okay, honey? What do you think? I can't believe he's gone. Sam looks to the kids, then back to you. We saw that you chose to play that... Uh oh no. And they pause before continuing. Yeah. I couldn't help but wonder why. Uh seemed like the right thing to do. Not even making excuses. Very good. What? That's not good enough. Disrupt our bad people. I can't believe you did that. Charlie's outburst seems to come out of no Oh, that was the kid! Oh! The one who became CC or was in training for CCO. Oh, bad. he's a dummy. Uh, it seems to come out of nowhere, and no one in the room is prepared for it. Do you even think about how this stuff affects people? You're a fucking idiot. Sam tries to interject. Charlie. But he's already slammed the door. Charlie always was a bit black and white about this sort of thing. For what it's worth, Alex, which as we know is very little to you, I think you just made things worse. Sam sighs and stands up, heading, heading to the kitchen. Though I'm sure oh. it can't have been easy, I just wish you'd thought about what you were doing. Typical of Sam to make this about them. You take a deep breath and gather your thoughts. It's all a lot to take in. You're not sure you fully processed what happened last night, let alone what Charlie and Sam think about it all. You look to your daughter. I know this is an incredibly difficult thing, and we don't always agree, but... I do think you made the right choice. Susie smiles at you. You had to play it. There was just no other option. You put an arm around her and give her an affectionate squeeze. It's nice you've at least got some company. The TV is playing those uh, through some old Western show, but it's not quite as distracting as you'd hoped. You were never going to please everyone. Oh, oh I'm glad we're still alive this many days later. <laughs> yeah. A questionable uh -oh. choice. <laughs> it's nice you've at least got some company. The, t the TV is playing through some old Western show, but it's not quite as distracting as you'd hoped. Hopefully, there are still some biscuits left. That threw me a little. As you yeah, enter the kitchen, weird. yeah, you see Sam and Susie enthusiastically discussing something. Your daughter's still in her scrubs, having clearly come straight from work. I got the posting I was hoping for. I'll be oh, she gushes. Oh, she got I'll be doing my placement in the new transition center, really helping people like Grandma. 
Um, a transition center. Why would you want to work at one of those horrible places? Because I want to help people, people that are suffering. I don't want anyone else to have to go through what grandma did or what we did. Susie and Sam share a knowing but pained smile. Hardly surprising you don't get that though. Ouch. Hmm. <sighs> Here we go. The last broadcast uh, of the new update. With no Jeremy. Who's it going to be? <sighs> Although I don't recognize this shot. So I'm wondering if that would, if, or number three, I forgot you can't see my pointer. Uh, I wonder if that would have been from a different path this could have gone down. The 20 week war. Oh. Can I just turn this off? Orange. Oh, dang it. Couldn't. Okay, stay out of the orange. Got it. There's subtitles. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, not lightning. Thing you do where you turn politicians into humans. Oh. Just don't get drawn into talking about the war. It's politics in general. Really. They do know oh, it's this just is the news, don't they? Yeah, it's what I figured it would be. I would have thought maybe she'd become main anchor and then he, uh, or somebody else would right now. move up. A speech or something tonight. I'll get it on the late news. Oh, great. So they get the brains oh, right. and we get the performing monkey. Oh, the SS anyway. fun ship. Sometimes you oh, where? Like yeah. You. Siege survival kit. You? you know, real quick, I'm throwing Crazy Neil in there. And we'll put that on the last. It is what it is. It is what it is. I miss him too, you know. Oh, yeah, it has been a Ten while. Ten seconds, everybody. Yeah, it's about a month. Oh, sod. Mm. Going in five, four, three. Good okay. evening. This is the National Nightly News. I'm Megan Wolf. It's the 140th day of war. Our oh. headlines tonight. Company of Heroes. Skirmishes on land and sea again today as our armed forces tested the metal of the World Council's illegal blockade. Advances strategy of multiple small-scale incursions uh, into the disputed zone four. is certainly keeping the enemy on high alert. Unable to work out where or when the next strike will come. Oh, look at my sensor buttons new. Sadly, however, more casualties oh, were reported different today, buttons altogether. Weeks and months of yeah, new panel. Like ever more demands on our armed services. It's Those numbers mixer. will tragically only continue. To uh, is that a soundboard? Don't starve. Advances yeah, the maybe. program moved from strength to strength the, today can you as click ration it yet? depots were opened in the last remaining unfair no, areas I can't. of the territory. Okay. The rationing depots have been constructed in record time, and the government's agricultural coordination strategy Three. has seen shelves yep. restocked with increasing regularity. Let's just show However, people the with truth. With the reported rise in yep. mental and physical health issues since the imposition of the blockade, critics have questioned whether those smaller communities which are only now starting to receive help could have been mm -hmm. better and quicker served. Seven days to die. The recent decision to allow those with long-term health conditions to access transition centers has today been declared an overwhelming success. Previously available only to those in their final yeah. years, Four. the expansion of the service has been met with relief by the many organizations calling for it to be opened up to the wider community. With dwindling medical supplies leaving many of our most vulnerable facing chronic pain, it can come as no surprise that the transition centers have found themselves stretched to capacity. Populous. More than 11 so percent of is the, the transition center have just far failed to register a slaughterhouse a card. Yes. A worrying statistic given that the cards are a legal requirement it's, uh, from midnight tonight. That's what I thought. Well, it's the elderly death panel. So they've now like opened it up to late, people that just are like, I'm done. Tricky questions from advance. Yeah. Start me up. Which, to be fair, you should have. Yeah. There, I, or especially if uh, euthanasia. I, I get if you don't want people to be able to just make that decision on a whim, but no, at the I same think, time, I think like, that you should be given. If, if you want to go that route, you should be given like a mandatory series of counseling. Yeah. Um, and and with your family as well, and actually have it be a discussion, and then if it everybody yeah. kind of agrees, or at least you know understands your point. Sad news today as the grave we, of former oh, national often never, never oh, land. Jeremy Donaldson oh, no. is vandalized Jeremy Donaldson's by disrupt activists. 
The much loved uh, broadcaster suffered four. a very tragic public breakdown. Disrupt. Ago in an incident yeah, but which ultimately cost him his life. But no. Disrupt spokesman Alan James. No, that's taking the side last of. Last week named Mr. Donaldson as of the advance. Because we're saying disrupt. No, they're, they just named him as the first martyr. Oh, all right. Yeah. But first this evening, with the war about Yeah, I watched a documentary on that once, and it was like an older lady who was up and down the country. who was very I'll sick, wasn't going to get better. Yeah. Minister, and they, like, followed her on her last day, had a nice party and everything, and then they yeah, did exactly. it. Exactly. I was like, oh, that was kind of nice. Why is it so hard to turn? Oh, oh. I was on the wrong one. Oh, oh, oh. Down. Oh, oh, yep. Wrong with the bike. Up. Good enough? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Ooh, it's really moving. Oh, oh, it's getting bigger. Nope, now it's getting smaller. Slight loose. Got it. I got it. In part two, I'm a little overexcited to announce. I'll be interviewing the one and only Lil C. I mean, Peter. Oh, right. I keep you coming back for more. <laughs> but first tonight. Let's check in with Prime Minister Peter Clement to his home in Lanfordshire. Good evening, Prime Minister. Have we caught you exercising? Oh, have we started? <laughs> yes, that's right, Miss Wolf. I have just a few minor adjustments. I mean, nothing drastic. I haven't joined the gym more or anything. As my old man used to say, just because she won't take it up the shit, it doesn't mean you shouldn't try for a quick fiddle up the car Language, park. Prime Jesus, Minister. Jesus. What? Quick fiddle. <laughs> oh, shitter. <laughs> shitter, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's the one. And can you tell us what oh, 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 oh. this new you? Well, you know, Mrs. What's that? C that looks different. It's orange. <laughs> Wait. Oh, stay out of the orange, it says. Oh. Oh, I bet that's well, them. You know. Uh, disrupt making like a signal of some shrink kind. It, shrink it. Yeah, yeah. And I stretch it. I didn't have. Right. I didn't have to do it for. No, it's fine. It's fine. As long as it's green. Okay. I'm trying to focus on this other stuff too. Oh, I was on the shot for too long. Oh, why? Why? Whoa. She says, "Peace." She says, "I could go on without you." She says. So I made a decision, and since that day, I have stopped smoking cigars. Good for him. For Christmas. <laughs> He's really looking up, uh, looking oh, no, no, picking no. up lard or flard. Oh! As as I, I got this useless Rudy Black, which doesn't go anywhere. And apparently, I'm going on a walking holiday this Christmas, and that should finish me off for bloody good. Did you make the decision to holiday within the country this winter because of the blockade, Prime Minister? Well, Mrs. C has never liked travelling at the best of times. <laughs> uh, these are People so that don't like British comedy time. or British oh, like on, movies please. in general, I'm pretty sure this is what they think all British, British people sound like. As I'm sure you're are there people aware? who don't? I mean, oh yeah, I know, I know tons of people who like despise British humor, which yeah. is a, like I so you know it. a lot of bad people, is what you're saying. Yes, yes, oh, yeah. okay. Also, people that don't understand that British humor is the best humor. I've just kept better company, I guess. Because I don't know any heathens that hate this sort of thing. Yeah, unfortunately, I do. Awful. Is that really an example of team spirit? What? Did you know? Oh, no, not again. Scale? No one tells me anything, Peter. You should know that. What do you know? Well, leaving that for a moment, it says on this card that a body like yours must take some planning to achieve. What's your morning routine? Well, I have a frigid morning routine. Rigid? It's rigid for fuck's sake! Oh, a, a, a rigid and demanding plan that my doctor and personal trainer... <laughs> Who's your personal trainer? Ah, some prick or clerk. Is that on your card? I thought you might wonder. Prime Minister, speaking of planning, with oh, the oh, oh, oh. in its 20th week and the people of this country reeling from its effects, what plans do you have to get us out of this mess? Well, that's a very blunt <laughs> question, Mr. Surely Wolf. one for which you, the democratically elected Prime Minister, must have an answer. Don't you get smart with me, Pat. I was a fucking national treasure before you were a twinkle in the milkman's scrotum. 
Jeez. <laughs> Let me tell you about plans. That's all we do. Fucking plans and revised plans and then meetings to discuss okay. the implementation of plans. And plans and yet more it. planning for fucking plans and yet more fucking plans. Well, that's good. That's good to know, Plan. You know. Oh, 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 oh. I used to really like you, but you were a breath of fresh air. But I've been watching you. And you know what? Oh my god, that was too much. You get more like hmm? him every day. Oh. I will take that as a compliment. Prime Minister, later on this evening, your co-leader, Julia Salisbury, is going to give a national address from team headquarters. Can you give us a hint of what she's going to say? Um, yes. Well, uh, I imagine that there sorry, will be sorry, you the usual... Up no, what, what, I, mean, what do, I mean is... You do know about this broadcast, don't you, Prime Minister? Well, I'm, I'm sure I did. Um, but Julia and I have no secrets from each other. We don't memorise each other's bloody diaries either. As me old mum used to say, if you wanted to get a job done quick, don't get bogged down in the pew. What else you got? Sorry? Only cards. What else? The little piece of my life you want to rustle through. Get out. Refill my last. Ta. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, come these on. guys have okay. very convincing what music drunk. What do you listen to when yeah. you work out? Well, Gail tells me that I work out to Little C, but I have absolutely no fucking idea who that is. Oh. Do you think the C stands for... It stands for collaborative, Prime Minister. Yeah, actually, that, that does make more sense, actually. Uh, how's rationing affecting you? It's hard, but we get by. You just have to learn to get by on the basics. Take comfort in each other. I've got Mrs C. And many a fine single malt. I want full of. So for a decent night's sleep, of course. Prime Minister, thank you for joining us. When we come back, and it's out. time for Culture Spot with Lil C and a world premiere. Get on that phone now! I genuinely can't wait to hear that. <laughs> Politicist bitches! Ooh. One minute back, everybody. Oh, oh, oh! Is what happens when you wander from the car. I don't think he knew about her statement. I don't think anyone's supposed to know when you mentioned. When it. my husband became CEO of Pleasure I wondered what the advantages would be for me. <laughs> well, now I'm aboard the SS fun ship for a holiday so good I'm being paid to sing about it. It will be me now out on a pleasure cruise. What I'm civilizing. I mean, what? I'm drinking copious booze. I'd like my friends from work I love this. Oh, this reminds me, we still haven't, because of the pandemic, we never had a chance to take the boys cruise. Oh, that's right. Oh, applause. Yep. Looks like it's time for me to look up some cruises. Yeah. I bet they're dirt cheap right now. Oh, yeah. They only have to risk, like, probably a 50-50 chance of coming back sick. Whatever. <laughs> We get vaccinated, we're good. That's not how that works. Sail from Galveston? Oh no! Why'd you leave? To Korea? Yeah, well, it is one of the biggest uh, cruise ship ports in the country. Actually, it might be the. No, it's not the biggest. Should we good? Hang on, Colin. You've got kids. Port Miami is. About six or seven, I think. What? Five, four, three. All right. That's the end of that one. Whew. Jeez. Oh, this is a. Uh, that was a. T that was one of the tougher interference ones I've had to do. Yeah. Uh, and still be able to like pay attention to what's going on. But uh, yeah, I'd say we probably have uh, just one or two episodes left in this uh, in this new chapter. So make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Tune back in tomorrow. Maybe it'll be the end. Maybe it'll be leading into the end. I don't know. Maybe we'll get a little twist and Jeremy wasn't dead after all. I would be so happy. I miss him already. It was a fake bullet. Is all special effects planned by Alan James. That son of a bitch. No, 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 we're supposed to like him. That genius? Or wait, maybe we're not. That genius son of a bitch! <laughs>
All right, everybody. Like, share, subscribe, comment below, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. Goodbye.